hi everyone you are welcome back to my channel today we have an amazing math puzzle to solve okay so the question says um let's call this a call this b call this c and call this d now this question says that if you multiply a by b you are going to get 15 okay if you add a to c your answer is 3 if you add b to d your answer is 12 and if you subtract d from c your answer is 5 now we are asked to find the values of a b c and d all right now the first thing we are going to do is to write out the system of equations from this particular illustration okay now these are the system of equations that we can see a multiplied by b is equal to 15 now let's call this equation one then a added to c is equal to three let's call this equation two now c subtracted from d is equal sorry d subtracted from c is equal to five let's call this equation three and then b plus d is equal to 12 let's call this equation 4 now we are going to take this step by step to find the values of a b c and d if this is your first time of joining us you are welcome okay now i want us to look at these equations closely you are going to notice something there is a connection between equation one and equation two now equation one has a and equation two has a as well so there is a connection between them so if we can get a from equation one we can substitute that into two all right to get our c in terms of a then if you look at equation 2 and equation 3 you will notice that they have c in common so we are going to get c and substitute that into equation 3 also equation 3 and equation 4 has d in common so we are going to find d and substitute that into equation 4 by the time we are through with that, we are going to see an amazing equation that we are going to form that will lead us to find the values of A, B, C, and D. Now, I want you to keep calm and stay tuned and see how we are going to achieve that. First, from uh, equation 1, from equation 1, we have that a multiplied by b is equal to 15. now because we have a in b in 2 let us find a in equation 1. so we divide both sides by b right so if we divide this by b and divide this by b b we cancel b and we are going to have that a is equal to 15 divided by b now we are going to call this equation 4 okay so like i explained initially we are going to substitute this 4 into equation 2 okay so from 2 we have that a plus c is equal to 3. Now let's substitute this into equation 2. If we do that, we have 15 divided by b, which is our a, right? Plus c is equal to 3. Now to get c, we are going to subtract 15 divided by b 
from both sides. Therefore, we are going to have that C is equal to 3 minus 15 divided by B. And this becomes our equation 5. Amazing, right? <laughs> yeah. So, we are going to do the same thing that we did here. What I mean is this. From equation 3, from 3, we have C minus D, C minus D is equal to 5. Now, we are going to substitute C which is 3 minus 15 over B into this particular equation, okay? So we are going to have C minus, now our D, okay, sorry, our C is 3 minus 15, right? 3 minus 15 divided by B, then minus D is equal to 5. So we want to make D the subject of the formula so that we can substitute it into our equation 4, okay? So, what we are going to do now is, because we want to make this the subject of the formula, we are going to transfer everything to the other side of the equation, okay? So, we are going to have minus t is equal to 5, then plus 3 we cross to become minus 3, and minus 15 over b we cross to become plus 15 over b. So we have minus D is equal to 5 minus 3 is 2 plus 15 over B. But we are asked to find D. Okay, no, we want to find D and not minus D. So what we are going to do is we are going to multiply both sides by minus 1 in order to get D. Okay, so now we have... Minus 1 times minus D is D. Minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. Minus 1 times this is minus 15 over B. So now we have D and we can call this equation 6. All right. Now, from equation 4, we are not going to substitute this into equation 4. Okay. So from equation 4, now, according to equation 4, we have B plus D is equal to 12. B plus D is equal to 12. Now, we have our D as minus 2 minus 15 over B. So, we are going to clean this side. But before that, I will need these equations, which are equation A, equation, uh, equation 4, 5, Six. Okay, so I'm going to write this somewhere. I'll write A equals 15 over B. This is equation 4. And I have C I have C equals 3 minus 15 over B. And this is equation 5. So I'm going to clean this side now and use it Okay, so we have B plus D is equal to 12, but D is this. So we are going to have B plus, because of this minus, this becomes minus, right? So we now have minus 2 minus 15 over B, okay, is equal to 12. Now, we want to remove B, and to do that, we need to multiply both sides by b okay so if we do that we have b bracket b minus 2 minus 15 over b is equal to 12 multiplied by b so b times b is b squared b times minus 2 is minus 2b and b times minus 15 is minus 15 B times minus 15 over B is minus 15, okay? Is equal to 12B. If you look at this, you can see that 
we have formed a quadratic equation, right? So we need to form this by, we are going to transfer 12b to the other side of the equation. So if we do that, we will have, but let me copy this. We have that d, we have that d is equal to minus 2 minus 15 over b. This is equation 6. Okay, so I can now erase this side of the board comfortably. All right, now let's continue. So we, have, we are going to transfer this to the other side of the equation. And if we do that, we have b squared minus 2b minus 12b minus 15 is equal to 0. So we have b squared minus 14b minus 15 is equal to 0. Now, we can solve this by factorization method, yes, because we need two factors of minus 15 that when we add them together, we get minus 14. And because minus 14 is negative, we are going to have 1 and minus 15, okay? Because 1 times minus 15 we give us minus 15, and 1 minus 15 we give us minus 14. Now, because the equation of b squared is 1, we can solve this by just opening these brackets and doing something like this. Now, we have b squared. That should be b multiplied by b, okay? And our factors are 1, plus 1, and minus 15. So, remember that this can be expressed as b plus 1 is equal to 0, or b minus 15 is equal to 0. So, if we solve the left-hand side of this equation, we are going to have that b is equal to minus 1. If we solve the right side of this, we are going to have b is equal to 15. So you can see that we have two values of b. Now, let us get their respective values of a, c, and d. Hit the subscription button. I don't know if I've said this before. Turn on your notification bell. If this is the first time you are seeing us, give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing, okay? And even if you don't love what we are doing, tell us in the comments what we should do in order to make this place an amazing place for you to be. Thank you very much. So now we have two options here or two cases. Case one, when b is equal to minus one and case two, when b is equal to 15. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we have b is equal to minus one and b is equal to 15. So let us clean the whole of this. Okay. Now, let's start with when b is equal to minus 1. Now, when b is equal to minus 1, excuse me, I wanted to be sure that this is actually working. Okay, it's working. All right. Now, when b is equal to minus 1, a will be equal to 15 divided by b, which is minus 1, right? So a will be equal to minus 15. Now, c is, it will be equal to 3 minus 15 over minus 1. Remember that our b is minus 1, okay? So c is equal to 3 minus minus becomes plus. So we have plus 15. So our C becomes 18. Now remaining our D, right? So our D will be equal to minus 2 minus 15 over B. And our B is minus 1. So our D will be equal to minus 2 minus minus is plus plus 15. Okay? So it means that our D will be equal to 15 minus 2 is 13. All right. So that simply means that when B is equal to minus 1, 
a is equal to minus 15 c is equal to 18 and d is equal to 13. now when b is equal to is equal to 15 let's see uh, a will be equal to 15 divided by 15 right so uh, a will be equal to 1 now uh, c will be equal to 3 minus 15 divided by b right and our uh, b this time is 15 so uh, c will be 3 minus 1 so uh, c will be 2 okay i hope i'm not making mistake yeah so our d will be equal to minus 2 minus 15 over our b is 15 as well so our d will be minus 2 minus 1 so our d will be minus 3 all right now these are the values of our a b c and d respectively now let us check okay so we are going to put the first values we are going to use this first set to clarify first of all when b is equal to minus one our a is minus 15 our b is minus one our c is 18 our c is 18 our d is 13 our d is 13 now let's check if this is true minus 15 multiplied by minus 1 is 15 that's correct minus 15 plus 18 is 3 that's correct 18 minus 13 is 5 that's correct and minus 1 plus 13 is 12 and that is also correct now let us check for the second values of our a b and c so when b is 15 our a is 1 so we have 1 our b is 15 our c is 2 and our d is minus 3 now let's see 1 plus 2 is 3 that's correct 1 times 15 is 15 that's correct 2 minus minus 3 is the same thing as 2 plus 3 which is 5 and 15 minus 3 is 12 so it simply means that these values are correct thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye